We really focus on like problem solving and we design and innovate things. So on Autodesk Inventor, I made um, a house and it's got shelves and a shower. We use our math in our uh, history class to like analyze the casualties of a certain war we're studying. They go into a lot of detail, like DNA. I mean, we know that it codes for it codes for our genes, but like in this class, you'll get to know like how it does that, why it does that. You come to the high school, you're going to be either on Team One, Team Two, Team Three, or Team Four. Those are all small learning communities. Um, the STEM team is is a team that um, runs parallel to the traditional teams, but they add my course. Um, and then they accelerate the kids through the sciences just a little bit faster. And this is a, a, a kind of a survey course. Um, the, um, kids can come in and kind of see if this is something that they're going to be interested in in the future. Really what it is, it's just a different way of learning. What the kids learn in their core classes is timeless. It was, it's always been relevant. It always will be relevant. The thing is, is that the world is changing and how that knowledge is applied is, is constantly on the move. And so what our class tries to do is teach kids how to engage that core content knowledge to real world, authentic, dynamic situations. So freshman year especially, um, the core classes you learn more about STEM principles um, and you get to do more hands-on projects um, and learn more about, like in history we, we learn more about some of the engineering things from the past um, that in a normal history class you probably wouldn't have. Mm -hmm. But then the problems that you guys did in Mr. Brown's class of like analyzing costs with different It's a lot more reality based so it's not like a lot of just really fun cool projects it's a lot of more real world projects being cost effective and just being effective in general about putting a product on the on the market. You get more advanced skills that the other classes don't really provide. So like currently we're working on a project of shooting a, uh, a ball through a hoop. There's already a product on the market or an example product that costs X amount of dollars and we have to build a product that does the exact same thing for less money and that does it more effectively than the product that's already on the market. So we're innovating on a pre-existing product. First you um, think of the problem and then you uh, brainstorm and think of all the possible solutions we can. And then we went onto the website of uh, our local Home Depot and we found all the measurements and the sizes and we had to measure how many we needed and what sizes they were going to be in particular. And eventually we'll get into prototyping and we'll build something that will probably fix the problem and we can always add on to that if that doesn't work so we'll test it and then keep keep working on that prototype until it's finished. And we work a lot in groups, and I think that's really important because you can show your creativity, and at the same time you work on your social skills, like working together with other people. Obviously team building skills and being able to work with another person is a vital skill that you're gonna need in the future. Virtually every vocation there is requires uh, a lot of collaboration. Um, if you're gonna be working in the sciences, if you're gonna be in the medicine field, the law field, um, you have to have the ability to work with, with, with patients, clients, constituents, partners. It sort of teaches you like the basics of leading a group. And uh, if you're on like the lower tiers, then it teaches you like how to listen and you know do what you're told, I guess. You also have to learn how to work with all types of people because there's like people have different like views and stuff and you just have to learn how to work with everybody. There is a lot of teamwork like in biology here we have our lab partners which we do all of our labs together so you get that bond with another person so that other classes where you're just working alone wouldn't really provide. Gene 4 is still pretty solid. Gene 5 is doing okay though. It turned out really well. Um, we were doing um, gene chips about how they code for like diseases and if a person wants to get rid of one disease they just code their diseased DNA and then just they flow it over the gene chip then gene chip attaches the base pair and then that blood sample maybe is just 
then put into the person's body and maybe the disease and the cure is found. Not only the leadership that you, we get to um, guide our own team, but we also learn to listen to other people and use instructions how we have no idea what we're going to do, but uh, we have to follow these directly and we got to step out of our own shoes and see how someone else would picture it because sometimes all instructions aren't point to point and we got to make some stuff up as we go. It's a survey course. If they don't like it, the next year they don't have to be a part of it. But it's a wonderful opportunity um, to maybe ignite a fire under somebody or tap into some interest that the kids may or may not have known they had. I kind of, when I imagine going to high school, like the difficulty of what STEM is is what I imagined. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Um, engineering aspects, the science aspects, everything was pretty, pretty cool.